Hi, my name is Evan Harris, and I'm part of the Full Steam Ahead Leadership Board at the Santa Maria Recreation and Parks Department. Um, today I'll be showing you three crafts to, that you'll be getting from the packet. Um, so the first craft is the paper windmills. So it's going to end up looking like this. And the first step you want to do is you want to cut the, the paper, but only cut on the dotted lines. And everything that I will be showing you today will be in the packets. And then you can pick up the packets um, here at the Abel Maldonado Center. See, and then you want to cut diagonally, but you don't want to go past this dotted line right here. Okay, and then the next step you want to do... So you want to take your pencil and the green pipe cleaner and you want to wrap it tightly around the pencil a couple of times. That way it's ready for you. Okay, and then you want to take one of the beads and you want to put it through the pipe cleaner and take the, the paper and, and put the pipe cleaner through the middle hole and then you take the corners with the holes punched and you want to put them through the pipe cleaner like this and you want to make sure that you put them you only do the ones next to each other and not diagonally or else it won't work as well okay and then you take another bead and you put it through the green pipe cleaner and if you want to you can make it a little tighter in the back by twisting it some more like that. And the last step is to fold the top and put it through the yellow bead. But as I said, I think I have too much room, so I'm going to make that a little less. Yeah, don't forget to push up the pipe cleaner to the top. That way it can work better. And then just blow. Okay, and then the next project I will show you is the paper clip parachute. The first thing you want to do is you want to take the two little paper clips uh, and you want to attach them to the, to the sides of the coffee filter. Then you're going to take the, your two blue yarns and you're going to attach one to each of the paper small paper clips. Then take the big paper clip and put it through one of the strings and then tie the two strings together. Now, you, now you're going to want to do this with the coffee filter, a piece of paper, and then the plastic bag that, will be, that all of your supplies will be in. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to drop them and you're going to try to see which one defies gravity the best. The final project I will be showing is called the binary code bracelet. Now the binary code bracelet, the first thing you want to do is you want to take this sheet of paper and you, you want to look for the letter that you need first. Once you find the letter that you need, you want to write the number on each um, for each letter. And then, you, and then you're going to fill in the dots using one red colored uh, crayon, which we will give to you. So for each zero, you will put a white, you will leave it alone. And for each one, you're going to put a, a red dot. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, pipe cleaner and the beads that we, that we will give you. And you're going to match your binary code onto your bracelet. So I will be showing you the E letter, and the code is 01000101. Or, as, or for the beads, it's going to be white, and then red, and then three whites, one red, a white, and then a red. And then the last thing you want to do is tie it together. And then you then it's just like a nice bracelet that you can carry on with you. So that was the final project. Um, I am Evan Horace at the Recreational and Parks Department for the Full Steamhead Leadership Board. Thanks for watching.